This is my new trap. My mole eliminator. Mole eliminator. Made in USA. Wiretech Incorporated. I'm gonna give it a test here. And they say that it's one of the best. It's steel, it's all steel. They sell a plastic replica up at uh, local hardware stores. And they say, and that people even at the hardware stores say don't buy it because it, they break. They're junk. So they're uh, probably not uh, uh, quality. They're probably a, a, you know, a one or a two time thing. That there is not. That's a hundred time thing, or a two hundred time thing there. So, anyway, sample, easy to foot, foot motion. I'm gonna try it out, okay? I'm gonna see if I can find a place to put it. Okay, this thing is, this thing is well made. That's, that's 332nd metal right there. That there is 11 gauge metal, that's heavy stuff. I need none of this thin crap. This is 16 gauge. That's the thin stuff, it's 16 gauge, that's good. Uh, boy, that's well made. And then this, that's this, this flat thing, okay, that goes on the ground. And then you step, you step on it. And oh boy, does that got some springs. Them scissors are heavy duty right there. And ain't nothing gonna get out of that. Boy, she's brand new, man. Wiretech Incorporated. I'm not promoting them, I'm testing them. So we're gonna see, that's heavy metal, look at that. That's 3 sixteenths thick. This thing probably weighs five pounds. This is a ser I, I paid $30 for it. And I could only find one place around here that would sell them at Fenton Feed Mill. They're the only ones that sell them. Everybody else sells junk. So I'm kind of excited. I've been looking for them for a while. I had to look it up online to find out where to get this thing. I am hope I got this in the middle of the picture here. Okay. So I'm going to find a place to set it now. I'm kind of excited to see how this thing works. It probably says be careful. And it ain't sharp. All the it's nice it's not sharp it won't cut you like that other one I got so uh, this is nice this is well made well made chrome spring chrome plated the chrome will probably come off after a few years after a few hundred molds but it'd be well worth the thirty dollars I'd get for this thing so, I think I found the spot where I can put it Got a real good high traveled area. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, first thing I'm gonna do is show it up with dirt. Loose dirt in the middle so that it's gotta push it up. And it will, every time. They just push it up. Okay, now. The way you do it, you put one scissor in one hole and one scissor on the other. Okay? Then you gotta stop on this baby because it's got some springs. And then it gets down. Oh boy. As long as it doesn't push the dirt out or dig through it. This is gonna work. I got my old flag too. What's nice, these are silver, they're not black. Black ones are easy to lose, easy to run over with the lawnmower, and you gotta mark them. They got a, they got a yellow sticker on there. That's fed fabulous, man. So you gotta either paint them yellow, the black ones, or you got to uh, tie a, a, a yellow caution tape on it so I think I'll I don't want to put there hell that's right through the damn run let's, let's put it over here and we'll see what happens okay okay 
I think my first hit is a success. It looks like it. The trap is set off. This one I should be able to pull them out, right? Sure enough. What the hell was eating on the back of it? Let me say, he grabbed it and look at the back of it as he ate up. This is my first catch. First try, first catch. And boy, I'm telling you what, they don't let out real easy. Huh? I didn't read how to let it go. <laughs> Man, this thing's got springs on it. Well, anyway. Ah, God, it's hard to get open. Maybe I'll just reset it. <laughs> and take it out. Take it out of the ground. How's that? Boy, that thing's deadly, ain't it? Alright. Nasty. Boy, he's already... That was just yesterday I put this in. Alright. We got one. Good. Excellent. Now I gotta set this off. Now I ain't gonna do that stick. Here's a bigger stick. I don't want to. Uh... Boy, you cut that stick. That's a good trap. That is a good trap. Quarter 20 bolts in it. Nylock nuts on it. Heavy metal. Man, this is nice. Okay, so, so far this one's got an A+. Plus. It's a good machine. That one I'm going to keep for a long time. I might go to uh, get more. Alright. This is uh, Petro 062 reporting. Channel 62. Reporting for the mole trap made by Mole Eliminator. Uh, made in USA. Get that. And also, um, I don't know the name of it. Oh, Wiretech Incorporated, Sunman, Indiana. Uh, I gave it an A plus on that one. Okay, we'll see what it does next time. All right.